Hi everyone, I'm Jay. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how I made this delicious flavour packed creamy roasted cauliflower. The list of ingredients and measurements will be in the description box below. First I'll take a cauliflower and discard the outer leaves. I'll just use my knife and cut out the core. Using my hands I'll break the cauliflower into pieces and cut them in half. I've given my cauliflower a quick rinse before laying them out on a baking tray. I've preheated my oven and I'm just going to use enough oil to coat each piece of cauliflower really well. And then I'll sprinkle with a pinch of salt. And then one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And I'm really generous with the ground white pepper before massaging the spices into each piece of cauliflower. Now that's done, I'll roast the cauliflower in the oven for half an hour or until soft. While the cauliflower is cooking, I'm going to finally dice one onion. And I'll chop two large cloves of garlic. I've washed two red chilli peppers and I'll slice those up. Halfway through roasting, I'll check on my cauliflower and return it to the oven. I've heated a couple of tablespoons of oil and I'll soften up my onions under a medium heat. Now the onions are soft, I'm going to add the chopped garlic and cook the garlic out for a couple of minutes under a low heat. Then I'll go in with the red chillies. After letting that cook out for a couple of minutes, I'll add a half a teaspoon of ground turmeric. I've allowed the turmeric to cook out for a couple of minutes and I'm going to add four heaped tablespoons of passata. Now I'll add the creamy top of the coconut milk and a small amount of the juice. Then I'll stir that under a medium heat until it starts to thicken. And add some salt to taste. My sauce has thickened and the cauliflower is nice and soft and completely cooked after 30 minutes. I'll turn the heat down and coat the cauliflower in the sauce.
And there it is, tender roasted spicy cauliflower in a delicious flavor packed creamy sauce. I like to serve mine with some white basmati rice, but it would also go down well with pasta. I hope you've enjoyed today's recipe. Drop me a comment and thumbs up this video. Thank you so much for watching. For more tasty recipes like this, please subscribe and share with anyone who you think might also enjoy this video. Take really good care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.